Based on the number of attack ads on TV, the race for Jacksonville's next mayor seems to be sliding down a deeply negative path for at least two candidates. For weeks, negative campaign ads have swirled around Jacksonville, but those ads seem to only be focused on the same two people. On your side, Rich Donnelly is joining us with why one candidate says the latest ad has just gone too far, Rich. That's right. Republicans Leanna Cumber and Daniel Davis are two of the leading candidates to become Jacksonville's next mayor. And even though Davis's campaign is running ads criticizing Cumber and her husband's alleged involvement with the JEA sale, Davis says Cumber's latest ad is too personal. Leanna Cumber's new attack ad is titled Dirty Daniel Davis. Voted to make it easier for criminals to cover up sexual assaults against children. Davis has also run a series of negative ads against Cumber, but said this latest ad went too far. Rebecca and I knew that in a campaign, we would get attacked. My opponent's latest attack trivializes the serious issue and politicizes the pain of others for nothing more than political gain. Davis's wife, Rebecca, said the latest attack ad is troubling for personal reasons. As a surviving victim of child sexual abuse, I'm hurt and shocked that anyone would exploit my pain or the pain of other victims for political gain. When First Coast News asked to speak with Cumber about this ad and the race for mayor, a member of her campaign said, quote, we are just going to let the ad speak for itself. This ad is the latest in an increasingly bitter mayoral race between just two of the seven registered candidates for mayor. Democrat Audrey Gibson is also running for mayor and said she chooses to keep her campaign positive. I have a lifetime of, of service to this community and focusing on the issues that people are concerned about. According to political analyst John Daigle, the barrage of negative campaign ads is a departure from the way campaigns are normally run. The old model used to be go positive early and you tell the voting public who you are and what you're about and that you save the last the negative attacks for the last few days when they don't have enough time to respond. That model has been kind of flipped. The citywide elections are scheduled for March 21st, but if no mayoral candidate receives more than 50 percent of the vote, then campaign season continues until May. Reporting in the newsroom, Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side.